Good evening, everybody, live and direct from the News Channel 3 backyard on the chopper pad. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We're going to try to schedule something tonight. Hopefully, this is going to work in about another couple of minutes. If everything works, if you've never had the chance to see the International Space Station on a good night like what we're having for this evening, mostly clear conditions out here, dry and cool, this is going to be good spotting for satellites that will be flying overhead. And in just a little bit, right about where you see that bright point of light right there, that's Venus. That is going to be about where the space station makes its way up and across the sky. So it's going to be in about another minute, two minutes or so. It still has to get up above the horizon. So we'll be watching that with a lot of interest and bring that to you to give you an idea as to what this looks like. A lot of people don't know what to look for. That right there is a planet. Back that direction is the sunset. So that again is two things you can see. But this is going to be something a little bit different. You may notice a few airplanes flying on through. You have those flasher beacons up there. And that's something that again happens when you see an airplane shooting across the sky that is a meteor this is going to be something a little bit different we'll show you that in just a little bit again for tonight you can see the space station twice the first one coming up in just a few seconds as it rises above the glare of sunset in the horizon the second one will be on the next orbit very close to the southwest horizon it's going to be visible around 717 and only for around a minute or so if that then it'll fade very quickly because the sunlight is in the wrong position and it'll be very difficult to spot after that so something to think about there now tomorrow morning a couple of good viewing opportunities coming up on the first of December early in the morning you can see the Chinese space station the currently occupied one Chinese space station Tiangong 2 will be making an appearance but it may be a little hard to see kind of down toward the horizon by just a little bit so being able to look at that might be a little bit difficult to be able to spot that with the sunrise sunlight like coming up so something to think about there after that also a Chinese space station uh, what used to be a part of a rocket booster will be rising above the horizon and that is something you'll be able to see there as well so something again you can take a look at in the early morning skies and something you can see pretty easily across the mid-south decently enough stay tuned for more on my astronomy blog it's called skyblog 3 you're watching it right now and it's a good opportunity to see more about what's coming up in the skies over over the Mid-South area, and don't forget to catch our app that's available at WREG.com. Matter of fact, let's go right back to the view at this point in time. We can't zoom in anymore. That's Venus, and that right there is the space station rising up above the uh, horizon and the glare of the light of sunset. So this is what it looks like. It's just a steady moving point of light heading up and through the sky. It's not going to shoot across the sky like a shooting star. It goes, again, very much on the slow side, but you can see this very easily on nights like this when it is very much, again, on the bright side out there tonight. This is super bright for the space station. The sunset that you see here and the solar panels of the International Space Station are in the right position to be able to see uh, the reflection off those solar panels acting like giant mirrors. So you're going to see it traversing the sky but as you notice up there, we do not have anything to show you in the way of beacon lights from this thing. You don't have any flashing lights like you do have on an airplane that is, again, FAA rules that you have those on there so you can see it in the night sky. And as you notice, you can track this pretty easily. It's going across the sky very steadily, but it's not rocketing across the sky like a piece of space debris or a meteor. So this is something that you will be able to take a look at. This is easy stargazing for the Mid-South area. If you're able to take a look out and see this, this is a good opportunity to get your kids out to try to spot for this out there. This is again a good opportunity to see more about what's in your night sky. You can even wave to them if you want to, but of course they're about 200 miles up, so it's going to be next to impossible to be able to see that specifically, but at least you will be able to see uh, that coming over. You can see the Chinese space station, both of them. The first one is going to be crashing back to Earth within the course of about the next uh, couple of months at least. I'm not too sure of the timetable on that, but that is going to be something that we could all watch out for, kind of like Skylab back in about 1970s, somewhere in there, I'm not too sure. But this again, very nice to behold, uh, very easy to spot, something that you can see very easily in the night sky if you've not seen this. It's now going basically over the uh, roof of the sky pretty much. It's almost directly overhead, right over Memphis almost, and it's going to be moving on down 
toward the northeastern horizon and it's going to be fading within about the course of the next couple of minutes. I'm going to rotate the camera around here so we can uh, see it a little bit better, but as of right now, my camera hold is not working. Let me see if I can get this to stay right there so we can kind of track this a little bit easier. If you've never done this before, again, this is not any super scientific secret. This is the opportunity to be able to see some very cool things in the night sky, and this is just one of them. To think that there's people living and working up there right now and that you're able to see this thing in the night sky coming on down there. It looks like i got to comb my hair before I go back on at 6. But again, what you're looking at right there, that's the International Space Station as it passes over the Mid-South and something that is very easy to spot as you head into the night sky usually around sunrise or sunset that's going to be one of the best times to be able to see this and this is a great way to get your kids your family involved in things like astronomy and we're going to keep this on here for just a couple more seconds we've tracked it from the rise it's gone through its zenith at the peak of the sky and it's going to be heading back on down it's going to be fading relatively soon but just look how brilliant this is this is about as bright as Venus. It's not difficult to spot and this is again a very good thing uh, to be able to try and spot out across parts of the Mid-South. The best way to get this is to be able to find out when and where this is going to be passing overhead. You can go to a website at heavens-above.com and you can see by plugging in your coordinates, your location, you don't have to put in a street address, but you put in Memphis, Tennessee, or Oxford, Mississippi, or Dyersburg, Tennessee, or whatever, and that'll tell you when stuff like this flies overhead. This is what it looks like. So for those of you who have never seen this before, or want to go out and give it a shot, now it's not always going to be this bright, but it is going to be a good opportunity to see a little bit more about what can be seen out there. And coming up in just a few minutes, a uh, matter of fact, right about now, it's starting to get a little bit dimmer and it'll be fading here away in just a bit right over the downtown area so there it goes and that's it so again that's something that you can do outside very easily when it comes to things like astronomy it's not that difficult and it's a good way to get your kids out from away from the computer screen and a good opportunity to learn more about that. Follow the International Space Station on Twitter, uh, European Space Agency. You can follow more about NASA and all their development agencies that help us study our planet and learn more about the environment and about other planets and other atmospheres in the solar system. It's all about science. And again, that thing moving at 17,000 plus miles per hour, something you were just able to see there here on our Skyblog 3. First time we've ever done this, so a good opportunity again to see a little bit more about how science and engineering and mathematics works. That right there is incredible to me. That's miraculous to see that we can do something like that. And that's something to get your kids interested in when possible when it comes to things like science. So that right there, just one target you can take a look up and see in the night sky. So take advantage of that. Get out when you can and do your best to get people interested in science and astronomy and things like that. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 backyard, I'm meteorologist Austin Arnold. This has been a special edition of Skyblog 3, our astronomy blog. We'll see if we can spot some other satellites into the course of the next few days, but unfortunately clouds are a bit of a problem, so stay tuned to our forecast, and we'll give you more details on that in the next several days and weeks right on in through the end of the year. Stay tuned for more coming up on News Channel 3, and remember whenever it comes to science or astronomy, always remember, keep looking up.